Our favourite creepy crawly expert is back, but this time she's asked for an assistant. What could possibly be that big that she needs help? We've got Kenya Moontor John here, and I'm joined by Melanie from Reptile Haven. Now, Melanie, I noticed that this box has a lot of air holes in it. It does indeed. What have you got in this box for us? Well, I've brought along a few snakes today. So, starting off, I thought I might ease you guys and John into some of uh, with some smaller snakes to begin with. So, these are the okay. smaller snakes. These are the smaller right, snakes on right. the scale today. So snakes are actually cold-blooded, like the other reptiles that I've been showing you, and uh, they do depend on an outside source for their heat. So they're usually about 11 to 13 degrees cooler than we are. So they actually, they will enjoy being handled when we start holding them in a few minutes. When we start holding them, yes, so it's just, yes, okay, you're so we're help. going to be holding some snakes here uh, today. <laughs> so we're actually in luck because one of the snakes seems to have shed on its way across here today. So I don't know if you want to have a hold of that. It is a little bit wet, but that's all to do with the oil. So the snake, um, <laughs> and it kind of smells a little bit, so apologies. But um, the snakes, they secrete an oil to help them to just take that skin off. All right, just go. slips right off. Yeah, now if we look really carefully, I don't want to get too close to you there, John. Mm -hmm. But if we look really carefully, what I think is really cool is, can you see here? So you can see this is the head of the snake. Oh, whoa. So you've got the eyes, do you see? So yeah. the eye caps. <gasps> Okay, so snakes don't actually have eyelids, okay, so snakes don't blink. So they that's the eye caps there, so that's the skin. You can see his whole face yeah, there. You can oh see whoa. The face. Look, and look, there's the nostrils as well. Cool. So there you go. That is awesome. I never knew that. If you have a look. Oh ginger wow. here. So ginger. So these are actually both corn snakes. Hi, ginger. Actually, all three of them are corn snakes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so who would you like to hold? Oh, it's, wow. <laughs> Don't make me choose. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, do you want to start, do you want to go with Pretzel here? I'll go with Pretzel, one? yeah. Okay, so here's pretzel. pretzel. With Pretzel. Okay, so nice, just relax your hands. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. perfect. So once you're supporting the snake, the snake should be nice and relaxed. Okay. Now you might notice that the snake is flicking her tongue an awful lot more when she's gone to you. Yeah. And the reason for that is these guys would be quite used to my smell, um, whereas obviously there's a different smell here, so they're more interested in who you are. So snakes have very, very poor eyesight, so they do depend on um, their other senses to find out what's going on around them. Okay. Okay, so we can't give them glasses. Any idea why we can't give snakes glasses, John? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they don't have ears to hold on. They just oh, slip straight yeah. off. So if they don't have ears, how do they hear? Any idea? Um, is it something to do with vibrations in the Very room? good, exactly that. Okay, so they use their lower jaw and they'll place it on a hard surface. Or even when they're not directly onto something, they can still hear slightly. But if they want to hear something better, they can push down and they'll pick up on the vibrations. And can you figure out why she's called pretzel? I was just going to say, <laughs> she actually is in the shape of a pretzel around my wrist. Uh, she looks very like a pretzel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just another thing to point out to the guys at home and to yourself there. So when the snake is wrapping around, you like that. Look at that. Don't worry, she's not trying to strangle you or constrict you or anything, okay? So snakes, obviously, as we all know, they don't have arms or legs. So that's how she's going to hold on. Well, now, if she was constricting you, you would know about it. She'd get tighter. So at the moment, she is just holding on so that she won't fall. So she's actually dependent on John there for her heat. So she's using him as an outside source. So she actually enjoys being handled because she'll wrap around and she'll steal our body heat. Okay, Pretzel, you might pretzel, go. Pretzel, you come back to there me. There you go. Bye, Pretzel. Bye, Pretzel. So if you want to have a go, now she's actually cold again because yeah. she was closer to me here. She wasn't on the hot water bottle at all. Wow. And again, you can see the tongue is flicking an awful lot more as she goes closer to John. And she tries to escape. As she's gone back in there. Wow. Now. They're kind of cool, aren't they? Aren't they, they are. They're lovely. And what yeah. do you think of the feel of them? Lots of people kind of expect them to be slimy. Yeah, no, they're, they're dry and cool and... Yeah, they kind of feel like plastic, I, I think. Yeah, and they feel really clean. Yeah, really, really clean and yeah. shiny. Yeah. That's all for the little snakes, but later in the programme, we will be showing you some much bigger ones. Now more snakes. Now, these guys here are royal pythons. Pythons? Yes. Now, I know most people think big snake when we hear python. That's a big snake. I know. Well, it's not. That's three smallish snakes. Okay. Okay, so we've got three in here. 
but I'm going to take them out Ooh. and I might pass one to you. So you'll notice they're definitely chunkier. Oh, yeah, OK. They're a lot bigger. And you may notice when you hold these guys, they're not going to be moving as much as the corn snakes. Right. So I'll pop you this one here. Oh, wow. <gasps> Can you see? I he do. might um, wrap around you there, so don't panic if he does. OK. So, see the way it's wrapping around my arm here? Yes. OK, you. and a little bit on you there. So this is actually really interesting because apparently that's where they get their name Royal Python from. So what they say is that uh, Queen Cleopatra... Used Queen to of wear the them. Nile. Queen of the Nile, exactly. Right. So she apparently used to wear live snakes, these guys, royal pythons, also known as ball pythons. Mm -hmm. She used to wrap them around her wrists as live bracelets. I know. As an accessory? As an accessory. But I think it was also maybe to do a little bit of intimidation. Yeah. You know, if you're going into a meeting with somebody yeah. and you walked in with snakes, do you think they're going to be really relaxed? So I think maybe if she was meeting other pharaohs and, and, uh, and the likes, that she'd wear them that way. Incredible. These guys, I love these guys. They're absolutely... Look at the, how he's wrapped around my arm. Yeah, you're Almost. getting very, very confident with the, the pythons there. So how confident would you be to meet a bigger python? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Why not? OK. So we'll see how brave you are when I open the box. OK. Now, so I'm going to show you Mrs. Burns. Mrs. It's Burns. Mrs. Burns. She's a Burmese python. OK, we are Simpsons fans in the house, so <laughs> hence the name Mrs. Burns. Um, now, I'm going to... Lift her out. Oh, whoa, my yeah. lord. That is a big snake. She's quite big, so I'm hoping that you are still feeling confident because I am going to need your help okay. taking her out. So if you don't mind, maybe coming across here, I'll move over to where you were. OK. And if you can just come in and take her tail. Take her tail, yeah. Yep, wow. and lift her up. And again, she's got the... Whoa! <laughs> she's heavy, oh, isn't she? my lord. Yeah, so race. let's see. We might even give put on the table just for a moment there just to rest ourselves. Now, she's beautiful. Fabulous. Now, the only thing is, she is very, very pretty with her fabulous um, albino colours there, but um, she wouldn't have survived in the wild if she was born. Any idea why? Anybody know why she may not survive if she was born into the wild? I've no idea. Absolute lack of camouflage. Ah, she okay. just stands out. She would stand out like a sore thumb. So she would have hatched out of her egg and quite quickly she'd have been picked off probably by a bird or... Um, uh, one of her predators. Well, I would love to see a bird trying to have trying to take out. her away now. I don't think you do too well. Maybe a harpy eagle might get uh, somewhere near her. Wow, brilliant, Melanie! Thank you so much for showing these snakes to me. Um, if you out there have any pets that you'd like to show us, please send in your photos and your videos to rte.ie forward slash learn. And if you've any yellow albino Burmese pythons as well. I'd love to see, we'd love to see them, wouldn't we? Yeah, you've done really well, by the way. I have to say, I'm very impressed now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Slan. Bye. <laughs>